Tommy's injury certainly was a setback. But the bond that these two kids have is really strong. And although only one of the Heartbreak kids was out there in the second half, Tommy's spirit was with him, and I believe... You here for Mr. Matthews? The hoodie gave it away. He's stable. But we're only allowing family to go back right now. That's great. Because he's my brother. I'm proud of what he's accomplished this season. I think there's only one individual on everyone's mind tonight. This one's for my brother, Tommy Matthews. You think that's something? I should see it in person. <laughs> oh, man. That's so cool. Uh, uh. Oh, thanks so much for coming and bringing this. You kidding me? I wouldn't miss this for anything. Coaching the guys in their best. They waited as long as they could, but no one knew when you might wake up, so they had to catch their flights back. I told Coach I wasn't about to split up the heartbreak kid, so I stay behind, make sure you were all right. Thanks, man. I'm just glad you're here. Hey, they did leave you the trophy. They wanted to make sure you had it when you woke up. How you feeling, buddy? Uh, like a sack of crap. It's funny, because that's exactly what I was going to say you look like. <laughs> hey, man. Promise me one thing. Anything. That you'll come back next year and make it win the championship together. Next year? You know I will, brother. Together. <clears throat> Doc said I shouldn't overdo it. Did she say what caused all this? Yeah. Something about the stress from my filthy roommate leaving his dishes lying around the apartment. She said if it weren't for that, I'd be the pinnacle of health. Please. <laughs> hey, seriously. You gotta start cleaning up after yourself. It's ridiculous. Really? Right now? <laughs> yeah. Is that him? He's an hour early. Coach? Don't look too disappointed. No, no. I was just expecting Tommy. Come in. Care for a cupcake? No, thanks. So, you here for the party? No. Give me a minute. Okay, Coach. Actually, I'm, uh... We had to talk to you about next season. Yeah, sure. Talk away. It was uh, it was something you said at the uh, at the start of the season earlier. It really stuck with me. It's something good, I hope. Well, it was something you said about treat your beloved sons and. I'll follow you into the deepest valley. And that really got me. It got me thinking about the way I treat you boys, and, and I wasn't being fair to you, and Tommy, for that matter, or the team. Wow, Coach, I really appreciate that. All that being said, I, I wanted to go into the offseason with everyone on the same page. I figured the best way that we could do that would be to announce a starter. Tommy's gonna be our starter. But how could you possibly make that decision after the title game? Is Tommy even gonna be able to play? Yeah, I spoke with his doctor. Uh, valve replacement surgery was great. He's gonna be right as rain. I just don't understand. I know this is hard for you. It's, it's hard for you to process, and, and I hope you believe me when I say that I take no joy in making this decision. I stand firmly behind it, because, frankly, Tommy's a better fit for the offense. Well... What does this mean for me? Well, it... Uh, it means...
means that you are at a monumental crossroads in your life and you've got two choices. You can enter the draft, and based on what you did last year, I'd say you'd be lucky to get picked in the third round. But realistically, you're looking at a late round selection, if at all. Jeez, don't sugarcoat it for me. Well, I'm trying to be open and honest with you from this moment forward. I'm giving it to you as I would my own beloved son. And my other choice? Well, the way I see it, you got too much raw athleticism to waste sitting on the bench. The talent is a true gift. And it's one that I'm gonna give you the opportunity to show it to the world. And how's that? You get to pick a new position on offense and get your heartbreak kids thing going back again. Heartbreak kids. <laughs> well, Tommy's already tried recruiting me to come back so we can win the title together. Does that mean you're in? Plus, he did switch positions once, and you see how well that worked out for him. I uh, guess I can try it, too. The heartbreak kids are back, baby! <laughs> Was he eavesdropping? <laughs> Always. <sighs> I'm not sure what's more strange, that interaction or the general cleanliness of this apartment. Cupcake! It wasn't an easy decision at the time, but I don't regret it for a second. Of course, everyone's first thought was, where am I gonna play? It felt good, telling everyone I was sticking around and Tommy and I were gonna play together. The next question was, did it actually work out? Pretty drastic turn of events for Coach O'Brien's program. I mean, the defensive pantry has been pretty much left dry with most of that elite unit having bolted for the NFL. But today, Coach O'Brien revealed a new strategy, and I think it's kind of brilliant. Get both heartbreak kids on the field at the same time. I mean, it's really... A brilliant move here's the deal you got to get all of your talented players on the field at once certainly if they're going to rely on the offense for a change to be the strength of this team if they're planning on making another run at it Dan, show me what you got. Let's go. Go! 60 bison, 60 bison.
something here. Gotta say, I was surprised with the way you guys played that season, and especially considering you switched positions. Plus, Coach O'Brien really came into his own, leading you guys to the verge of the playoff. Hard Rock Stadium, folks, it is filled to capacity. Everybody has been waiting for this college football Saturday, and we are just about set to get ready to rock and roll. It's the USC Trojans against the Miami Hurricanes. This one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Trojans take over first and 10 at their own 28 yard line. Here's first and 10 for the Trojans. From the gun, Matthews. And Walker has it. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Walker. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 16 yards, a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the gun. Matthews steps away to his left. Now it's caught at the 10. And he will score. Touchdown, Southern Cal. A big play there. 46 yards. And the Trojans have taken the early lead. It's up and good, and it'll give his guys a 7 0 lead. Seven. Hurricanes, nothing. So now following the U.S. team to send this one away. Taken in the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run on first down. Turner. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. He's taken down. At the That's three. a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. Blitz coming and down he goes. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that bringing up for you. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football, got to him, and made sure they didn't give up much run after catch. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, 
hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Good go. And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. And out across midfield, down to the 45. That third down conversion, good for 23. 23 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. From the gun, Matthews buying time to his left. Able to locate his running back, open downfield. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. A first down carry here for Charles. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 10 yards the pickup, good for a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. USC. On first down, it's Charles again. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. He was brought down. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big. And he is in for a USC touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Trojans add on to their lead. Well, for a kid that started his career as a quarterback, he's certainly showing a lot of conviction carrying the football. Yeah, he is running with some power, and I think he's running some frustration out of his system. Don't you think, partner? Because you know he wants to still be a quarterback. Because Red O'Brien made the switch. He has gone along with it. I think he just wants to show that he can contribute and contribute in a big way. And the way he's running the football, there's no doubt about it. They've made the right choice. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Back out there for their next offensive drive. The Hurricanes get set. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they win three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. He's got daylight. He's at the 40. 20. And he's able to get this way down deep into enemy territory. It's a big play there. 65 yards on the ground. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And he will take this in. Touchdown Miami. A 10-yard touchdown run. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. Well, that was a quick hitter drive. They had the huge play to get him down near the goal line, and then they run it in. I don't know that the defense ever had a chance to catch their breath. A lot of the time now, when we see people hit big plays, each team defines a big play their own way, 10, 15-yard gains. In this case, it was a huge gain. They often want to hurry up and go right away. Keep the momentum going, hit them again, and I think we just saw that there. The second play resulted in pay dirt. At their own 29-yard line. The SC offense about set to take over here. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. They begin the drive. Takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. First down, USC. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Trojans, 14, Hurricane 7. USC gets set here, first and 10. Here's Charles. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Three. Brings up second and seven. To throw on second down. Matthews. That's complete to Ward. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a first down on a gain of 10. It's a gain of 10. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first and 10, Matthews being chased out left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. And how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz, and the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. Looking to throw on second down. Matthews, he's going to take off with it. Finding room inside the 40. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Good yardage there on the scramble, and all of a sudden they're left with a third and two, much more manageable. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Tyler. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. At the 10 yard line. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. The Trojans come up now first and goal. They'll try to run this one in, and he is in for a USC touchdown. A great play there on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns, and the Trojans add on to their lead. So simple math here. The first half, they've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. Here's the University of Miami, their offense, ready to get the drive started. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's got this down to the 35. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. First and 10. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That was a terrific play, causing a loss as a middle linebacker simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them as he did there. That catch good for five. It's third down. Number 18. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Seven. Here's Daniel. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. And someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon. And guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. The Trojans take over first and 10 at their own 13-yard line. The Trojan offense ready to get their next drive started. You're under 30 seconds to go. Field position not great. Time to call it a half, wouldn't you say? Well, you know we all have that little extra gene. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 39 yards there. A big one. Here's first and 10 for the Trojans. Operating from the gun. Matthews. They'll let this go for the end zone. 
That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. It's second and ten. To throw again, Matthews. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. In the end zone. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. The final shot before break. Matthews forced out to his left. He's going to look deep here for Ward. That's caught. Touchdown, USC. Benny Ward as time expires in the first half. And the Trojans add on to their lead. And just before the half ends, the prayer is answered defensively a disaster there. I know often we're surprised when this actually works. I mean, the excitement level goes way up, but maybe we shouldn't be because I know as a defender, you've got to play the ball in this situation, but you can't interfere with the receiver because remember, it's a spot foul, and it'd be first and goal if it happens in the end zone, and you don't want to give up that play, that little bit of hesitancy. Often works really well for offensive guys. So after a very one-sided first half, what will the second half bring as we are back underway on EA Sports? And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. Back out there for their next offensive drive. The Hurricanes get set. They trail offense. First time to touch the ball in quarter three. And we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave them with a third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead... He flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. On first down, it's Daniel. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. The Trojans take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The SC offense about set to take over here. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they look out of that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. 
defense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And that is caught. He's got his running back downfield. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And on fourth and short, they snag a gain of over 30. USC gets set here first and 10. Throwing is Matthews. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Now Matthews escaping the pressure right. Pass the 20. Over the middle complete. It's Tyler. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one good for 26 and a first down. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. It looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last... Thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On first and goal, Washington. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Coming up on second and seven. Brings up second and goal. They run from the shotgun with Washington. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. From the gun on third down. Matthews. That's caught. Touchdown, USC. A great effort there. Trojans add on to their lead. Okay, we need to double check here with Marvin because he keeps all of our good stats. But what I've got is five drives, five touchdowns, and they've got a nice, healthy lead. We thought things might be clicking. They're really clicking at this point. They're clicking about as much as they can click. And right I just now, said click a lot. Yes, you did, but that's okay because the guy who's coordinating the defense, trying to slow them down, Good luck. he's going to have hair that looks like mine very soon. Not much of it. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Their own 25-yard line. Here's the University of Miami, their offense, ready to get the drive started. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Here's second and ten. Number 16's coming, Throwing again, Daniel. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Open man is Henderson. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. That right now, that's a defeated 
the team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. From the gun, here's Daniel. And that will be incomplete. Intended for his wideout. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go on fourth. Daniel, he's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. The you know, fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Uh, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? A little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see how they respond now. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. A two-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. From the gun on third down, Matthews going for it all. That's caught. Touchdown, USC. A great play there. 29 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. Make that now a...
Second connection for the Heartbreak Kids. And we talked about it earlier, Charles. They have, they have a special connection, and it just continues to show. Hey, I can't help but laugh and smile watching it. It's not because I'm favoring them over their opponent, but just the story is too good, isn't it? High school buddies changing positions, getting it done here on the biggest level, and the timing on that play. Perfectly run route, perfectly thrown ball. That's certainly... looks like guys who've known each other for a very long time and by the way we were told three of the high school coaches that coach these guys are here in the stadium you know that they have to be looking down with big smiles on their faces no doubt about it so here's a first and ten for miami Mike eight. Mike eight. out of the gun daniel and a grab here by gilmore and up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Shotgun snap for Daniel. It's caught by Jackson. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. That one good for 14 yards. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. They'll contain him to just four, second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it four yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six and they're gonna get him he's taken down for a sack back 
back at the 47-yard line. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. On first down, it's Charles. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. And some space here. That he's into the clear. He's at the 30. Ooh, 10. Lord, and he will score. Touchdown, USC. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder what's their motivation because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead will swell by one more. So now following the USC touchdown, on is the kick team to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one. As at the 25. At their own 25-yard line. Back out there for their next offensive drive. The Hurricanes get set. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory... Not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. That's taken in by Henderson. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A really solid performance against a ranked opponent as they add a big win to the left-hand column. I want to talk about a story that's making the rounds, and that's the heartbreak kids and their indelible bond once again, taking college football center stage at the championship game later on tonight. It has been truly amazing and truly inspirational to watch this amazing journey that these kids have been on from start to finish to this point. Showing off their character, their grit, their determination, their heart has been on full display for all of us to behold. And I normally don't say this, but I, for one, will be a heartbreak kid in spirit as they take the field in this big game tonight. A season's worth of Saturdays all comes down to this. The final in New Orleans, home of the Mercedes-Benz Superdome and the 2020 College Football Playoff National Championship. It's the Texas Longhorns against the USC Trojans. Here we go, the matchup we've been waiting for. Buckle in as we are off in the college football playoff national championship from New Orleans. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken in the end zone. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. a first and ten, Texas. Out 
out of the gun. Here's Warner. And he'll hit his tight end, Walker. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 25 yards there on the catch and run. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opened things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. On second down now, it's Pierce. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. At the 48 yard line. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Warner from the gun. Into a double team and it's intercepted. off at the 19. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid a turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but you. here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. It's second and eight. To throw on second down. Matthews. Dance. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> well, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Throwing on third and long. Matthews. And his man complete over the middle. That's Tyler. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Throwing on first down. Matthews. He's got the connection to Cooper. And he will score. Touchdown USC. Sometimes those slants yeah, can be so tough to defend after the catch. It, it, it just happens so quickly. And really, what gets set up there is how quickly everything happens. Ball's out of the hands of the passer in a hurry, and he just takes it and goes. He went all the way into the end zone. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes the score 7-0. So now following the USC touchdown, on is the kick team to send this one away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll just take a seat in the driveway to get it to 25-yard line. 
The Longhorns come up here to begin their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Eluding the pressure right. Nice work to get 7 out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. In trouble, and he's taken down. A loss of six yards. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. This is taken at the 15. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's first and 10 for the Trojans. They'll run from the gun with Charles. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. The ball carrier. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Looking to throw on second down. Matthews. And he'll get the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the enemy territory. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. They'll run on first down. Charles. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. So you often say that sort of opens the playbook now. Second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and move some things up. It's caught. Cooper. It's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense, humming here in the early going. On first down, Matthews. This is caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Southern Cal. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Trojans add on to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives are impressive. The opening drive was that. Last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. you got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. This taken in about four yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On first down, it's Pierce. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Second quarter now, Austin football, as they've got it second down and 11. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Back to the ground. This time it's Martin. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit him over the top. He's got four. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Now a first down throw, Warner. They set up the screen to Martin. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. So 
key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first is good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the line into where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Okay, and he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. A one-yard pickup. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions, and now it's look like none on this one either. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Trojan offense ready to get their next drive started. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. USC gets set here first and ten. From the gun, Matthews. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Now this throw caught left side. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Operating from the gun, Matthews. That's complete. It's Charles. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. First down. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. From the gun, Matthews steps away to his left. And this one is incomplete. Matthews on the keeper. Incomplete on the deep ball. Second and 15. Down and 15 yards to go. Operating from the gun. Matthews. Tommy Matthews linking up with the other half of the dynamic duo for a nice touchdown pass and catch. It almost felt like he essentially ran the ball downfield himself and handed it to him, didn't it? Their connection is so good, dating all the way back to their high school days. Even though roles are reversed now, it is fun to watch. Yeah, we sat with him yesterday, and we had one of those interviews in the private room, so they were really opening up about this being their last game together. It's kind of bittersweet, but I guess, Charles, it's one of those things where we need to enjoy it while we can still watch it. Yeah, but one can dream. Can't they both be drafted by the same NFL team? Yeah. One can hope. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Maybe the story will live on a little further than this. Now this one is running back out of the backfield. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A lot 
of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now, Warner snap, and he loses it. Offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go out to the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. A good return there, 17 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. First and ten. Matthews going deep for Walker. This is caught inside the 15. He's able to get this way down deep into enemy territory. A big play there just before halftime. 49 yards. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Throwing on first down. Matthews. And he will score. Touchdown, Southern Cal. From 10 yards out. And the Trojans add on to their lead. And that's a lead that excites the team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. It can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. And this carries into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. With a white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee and that should do it for half number one. What a story this would be as USC now sits just two quarters from a national title. Longhorns, nothing. Just one half remains of the college football season as we begin the second half of this national title game. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. First and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The SC offense about set to take over here. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire half time just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They'll keep it on the ground with Charles again. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Here's first and 10 for the Trojans. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. And to give this time to the tailback. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Second down and six now from the 42. Four yards on the pickup. From the gun, Matthews. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Third down. Third and 13. Throwing on third and long. Matthews. He's going to float this one deep right side. They can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. They'll try and throw for it here. 
Buying time to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left. Side. Oh, man, it's caught inside the 10. And he will score. Touchdown, USC. And Charles, we talked about it earlier, their last game together, and now a second touchdown connection between the dynamic duo. And I love the fact that in preparation for this game, you thought that they would have a big game together, and you're right so far. Two touchdowns, and think about it this way. Both of them get a football each for their trophy cases at all. And didn't one of them tell us before the game that there's a third? They were sending it back to the high school. Is that accurate? Yeah, Tommy Matthews was joking with us after that interview we had. He said, if he gets that third, you're right. He's shipping it right back to the high school to put it in the trophy case. We'll see if it comes to fruition. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. About set for their next drive, the Texas offense at the line. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes where those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is... Just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. 11 yards there, first down. It'll be Warner on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there. Threw it behind him. Meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. back you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about and you can read the receiver's eyes you can read his hands and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away and problem spreading to the punt team now this one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly so that'll come back to the 20. The Trojan offense ready to get their next drive started. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. The 20. And he will score. Touchdown, USC. So he's able to take it in, Charles, for his first rushing touchdown of the evening. Yeah, congratulations to him. But right now, I'm thinking like an NFL GM or a personnel guy. I'm watching his development as a runner, and boy, oh boy, am I thinking to myself, can I get him, really continue to mold him, and make him an even better player on the next level because I can run halfback options with him. And by the way, he could be my emergency quarterback. Could open up a roster spot for me as well. So now following the USC touchdown, on is the kick team to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Longhorns come up here to begin their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball when the pitcher gets pressure comes and down he goes. So much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. On second down, Martin. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole. Third and long. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Operating from the gun, Warner. Flushed out right. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. 
He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 30. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. USC gets set here, first and 10. Now an inside handoff for Charles. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Ball carrier. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll try the left side. Tyler. He's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First and so they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. They'll run on first down. Charles. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met the head coach in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. third down it's Tyler and he gets this down to the 18 good enough for a first down it's a gain of seven good for a first down so from inside the 20 here's first and 10 at the 18 on first down it's Charles and he gets it down close to the 10 yard line Ball, a solid run on first down gain of seven leaves him with a second and three it's a gain of seven Brings up second and three. Again, it's Charles. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. And they continue to hand him the rocket running back. He's been a real workhorse so far in this game. And he's given his friend and quarterback, Tommy Matthews, some real security back there because even in heavy traffic, he's rarely losing yardage. He's falling forward on every carry. Guess what? People got to start coming into the box a little bit more on defense. That should open up the passing lanes for Tommy Matthews downfield. Now a draw play. Here's Charles. And he is in for a USC touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And this offense continues to pour it on. Point after here coming up. And certainly some credit there for that touchdown goes to the offensive line. They never get the credit they deserve in the stat sheet. But they are the reason that they got the points. Excellent job up front. Clearing the way for the score. So now following the USC touchdown. On is the kick team to send this one away. Taken in the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. About set for their next drive. The Texas offense at the line. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game. But it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and ten, again from the 25-yard line. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. It's been that kind of a day so far throwing the football. It just seems like nothing going right offensively. Yeah, it's a catch that should have been made, pure and simple. And look, everything else that goes into running a good pass route, throw it all out if you don't catch the ball. Been that kind of game throwing the football so far. Nothing going right offensively. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. A short game that doesn't get him the first down. 
brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before. And this will be taken at the 13. A very good punt, but a 16-yard return. At their own 30-yard line. The SC offense about set to take over here. Well, Charles, they've got the comfortable cushion here as we dwindle down the clock in the fourth quarter. And, boy, what a joy on that sideline. You can see the smiles on the faces. They're just moments away now from hoisting that trophy. And you just got to think, partner, what's going through their heads right now are memories, right? These teammates, since high school, what a way to wind up your final game together in college. No heartbreak in this one for the heartbreak kids. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Here's first and ten for the Trojans. They'll try to eat some clock now with Charles. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. A gain of 11. And that'll be good enough for the first. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Charles. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Second and 11 now. Second and 11 at the 46-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And so we're in the to him on first down. Oh, trucked him. And he is in for a USC touchdown. A great play there. 27 yards. is running away with this one. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the kick. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will extend this big lead. So now following the USC touchdown, on is the kick team to send this one away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone, and it will come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. 25-yard line. The Longhorns come up here to begin their next drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. Under pressure, and down he goes. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. So that'll do it. The USC Trojans are once again national champions. Truly a champion's performance. Weapons galore on the offensive side of the football. And they finish things off in style as they will be crowned the champions of the college football world. You know, it was really great what you did. What do you mean? I know you could have gone to the draft last year, but instead you risked everything to come back here and, and help us. It means a lot to me, man. Hey, we've been through it all together, man. You know I love you like a brother. <laughs> so, are you feeling thankful enough to finally admit that I'm Batman? <laughs> Come on, let's not get carried away now. But hey, I will admit, you're no Robin. Okay. <laughs> well, at least there's that. Superman. Soups. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can work with that. Yeah. You know, he's Batman's equal, his biggest rival. And even though they battle it out from time to time, they always wind up back as close friends. I can definitely work with that. <laughs> but hey, 
Just in case you ever go stepping out of line, you should know that I always keep an extra thing of kryptonite on me at all times. You might need that in the NFL <laughs> against me. No cap. <laughs> Well, that was certainly a college career for the ages. And uh, it was my honor to be there with you guys through that part of your journey. And I just want to thank you for taking us through that. Now, we're closing in on another critical chapter, the NFL Combine. So, the NFL Combine. I spent so much time preparing for it, but some things you can't ever really say you're ready for. That's how the week felt to me. I walked away from the press conference feeling a buzz. I said a lot of things, but will my performance back it up? No, 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 no. No, this cannot be happening. Oh, oh man, okay. Think. The last place you looked at him. If you knew where you last saw him, they wouldn't be lost now, would they? Yeah, thanks. A lot of help you are. Oh! Oh, you, you're rich. Say it with me now. Eisen. Right, Eisen. You're a rich Eisen, big fan. <laughs> I'm gonna be the laughing stock of your next broadcast, aren't I? Yeah, Depends. You gonna run the 40 barefoot? I may have a little fun with you, but don't worry. I won't make you a running joke, huh? Come on. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> uh, maybe not your best, but I I'll tell you what. You let me wear your cleats, I'll laugh at any joke you have. I mean, seriously, I'm desperate. Try on. See if they fit. What's the verdict? Um, perfect fit, but honestly, and I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but they're a little damp. They're like really damp. Did you go swimming in these? Thought you said you were a fan. If you were, then you'd know I just ran my annual Run Rich Run 40 for charity. Ah, oh, right. Right, how'd it go? Let's just say my days of keeping up with Saquon Barkley are behind me. Maybe you'll fare better than I did out there. What was your time? 5.98, baby. <laughs> well, I can't do any worse. I've seen statues move faster than that. All right, well, I want you to go out there and post a time of at least 4.6. Think you could swing that? With as much adrenaline as I have coursing through my veins right now from trying to find my cleats, there's no way I don't beat the combine record. I'll tell you what, I'll be even faster. Just watch. Now that is what I like to hear. You're going to be helping those kids at St. Jude more than you know. Go get them, champ. Hope those shoes bring you good luck and an even better 40 time. <laughs> Thanks again, man. Whew. Yep, I feel it.
Welcome to another exciting edition of the NFL Scouting Combine. I'm Rich Eisen, and I'll be your tour guide as we meet the next crop of elite NFL talent. We're going to start things off with my personal favorite, the event that can break the spirit of any man, the 40-yard dash. First up, we've got one half of America's darlings, the Heartbreak Kids, an intriguing draft prospect to say the least. We'll see him up next for the skills portion of this year's NFL Scouting Combine. Okay. Okay, ready? today had a little bit of it all. Select few guys who may have just cemented their place as one of the top picks in the upcoming NFL draft. Until next time, I'm Rich Eisen. Welcome to the 2020 NFL Draft. Sure, the experts have done 2.7 million mock drafts, but you can toss those babies out the window. Welcome back to the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft. Hey, this is the offensive coordinator of the Las Vegas Raiders. How you feeling right now? Oh, everything's great, Coach. Well, look, son, we've been following you for quite some time, and we believe you could be an integral part of this team. Thank you, sir. Thank you so, so much. I can't tell you how much this means to me. And I'm ready to do whatever it takes to show you I'm worth your pick. <laughs> I know you will. I'll expect you to show up ready, okay? I'll be the first one there. Can't wait. And I'm just getting confirmation that the pick is in. Let's take it to the podium to see who the next pick in the draft is going to be. What a phenomenal pick. This kid has shown some elite abilities on the field. He's a freak athlete, totally capable of taking over a game in the right system. Yeah, I, I use a...